your first jump, you're going to try to keep just a bug. <laughs> keep the can okay. turret with the nasty one. Start trotting. But um, you have to go the other direction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. And now, no shorter with the reins from here because he's got his head up like an extra inch right now. There we go. And when he settles, you want him to be comfortable. If your reins are too short, he can't relax his neck at all, right? You just really squirrely at this time yesterday, so. <laughs> Good. Lots of inside leg, so you get a really nice turn here. Good, it might need a little half halt so we keep the trot. Wait, we're trotting! Oh. Oh, yeah. Just said that. Shorten your reins a little. There. Look over the second jump and can't. Good. Make sure you're giving a little tiny reach toward his ears over the jump. You have those nice little red ears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. We're working on the jumping part. Very good. Lots of inside leg. Push him out. Good. Really good turn. And a little half halt after the jump. Two, three, five. Oh, he's so cute and perfect. Very good. Go to your trot. Trot across the diagonal. Look at me come through here. When you get in the corner, Ask for canter and do the course again with all canter. Okay. Inside leg here, good. A little bit shorter range. Good. And two hands, two legs to support to go straight after the jump. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice counting, Juliet. That was perfect. Good. Half halt just a little bit. Side push. That's it. He loves to look at the garden. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, <laughs> Good. You can feel there. You can let him come back to a walk and just let him take his time to go to the walk. Good. I think.